So as the world is in a bit of an economic crisis, many people that still have leftover money are quite afraid to invest it. And that is not a surprise, stocks, especially tech stocks, are crashing hard, even though over the last decades they were always quite reliable. Crypto went down all the way, inflation is eating up the fiat money slowly, and different crises make it more a minefield than a good opportunity to spend money onto a thing that you believe has potential. What is very interesting in this topic are CSGO skins. I mean, in 2022 alone, stocks lost around one third of their value, depending on what index you are taking for reference. Crypto lost over half of its value and inflation, you know the drill. I mean, if you live in Turkey, you basically doubled your money over the last months when you had them in CSGO skins instead of real cash. I mean, just compare these graphs. I am pretty happy that I put a good amount of my money into CSGO skins. So today we are going to answer the question, are CSGO skins a valid investment like stocks, gold and real estate? This week you can win a field tested P90 Asimov. To enter, like every week, subscribe to my channel, like the video, comment something down below and send me a trade of a further item via my trade link below. The winner will be drawn live on my Twitch every Friday at 17 CST, but I am happy to announce that I am going to stream two times every week, Monday and Friday at 17 CEST. Hope to see you on my Twitch sometimes there. Also a big shout out to all my Patreons and channel supporters. If you want to learn more about CSGO skins or want the help of a scene professional CSGO trader right at your hand, you can find all of that there. Thanks! So, in short, yes, CSGO skins are a valid financial investment in my opinion. But there are a lot more risks and things you need to consider to make a definite answer to that question and especially be aware of when you want to put money into this video game. I can promise you these go over the usual Valve could just release a new game and make these skins kind of worthless. Risk number one. Valve could just release a new game and make these skins kind of worthless. Yes, that is a big problem when it comes to investing into CSGO skins. In the end, they and the whole market are in the hands of Valve. And if they want, they could just release a new game or a new skin mechanism with it, making the old skins not worthless but very, very cheap in comparison to today. Risk number two. Governments and other institutions could influence the skin market. Skins are not considered a legal investment and that is good and bad. In 2016, when gambling blew up, Valve and the CSGO skins behind them always got away without legal consequences because they always argued that skins do not have a real money value. I mean, most players even back then knew many ways to instantly convert their CSGO skins into real money, but um, pshht, don't let the people hear that. But the bad side of that is that these markets are a grey area without clear legal borders. Which is understandable. I mean, I live in Austria, I sell a CSGO skin which belongs to an American company over a Danish marketplace to a guy in Malta. Try to find a lawyer that wants to deal with that case. Risk number three, hacking and errors. Same here, as skins are not considered a legal investment, there is not any institution except Valve that could fix or reset anything if something goes wrong. For example, when somebody hacks your bank account, the bank can, in most cases, still refund the money and freeze your account. With CSGO skins, I mean, there is the Valve support, but we all know how much they are actively doing against scams and stuff. So, yeah. Risk number four. Valve passively changes the market, which also is a potential in itself. But what do I mean by that? Pretty easy. Valve brings updates, changes and new skins to the game regularly. Not that regularly as we would like. Please bring a new operation soon, Daddy Valve. But these changes are out of any investor's control. And if you're unlucky, they just nerf the gun you are heavily invested in. But of course it can also go the other way. Buffs of the items you have, 
remove of them from cases like with the USP Orion for example or even a new game mechanic like Statric trade-ups can easily make people a small fortune. Risk number five, influencers. CSGO is a game and also a lifestyle and topics like that bring out big influencers like Sparkles, Anomaly and so on. These people are not called influencers because Anomaly is always sick. It's funny because influencers. You got it? Okay. No, these people actively share their opinions and often influence their viewers with that. Max Gillett making an April Fool's joke, Jesus talking about potential blowups, and also just me making a small post about the best case to unbox on Reddit changes the way people act on these markets. And same like with the risk before, this is also a potential that could lose or gain you a lot of money. But we've talked enough about bad things and risks. Let's see the potential of CSGO skins when it comes to investing. Potential number one, you can do something with your investment. Pretty easy, if you buy stocks, you can just wait and follow the numbers jumpy jumpy up down. Wow. And if you buy an expensive car, I mean you can flex with it, but if you drive it, the value of it will decrease, so better not do that. But with these ghost skins, that is different. You can play and flex with them as much as you want, the skin and the value of it is not going to be influenced by that making the money a bit more worth it in my opinion. Potential number two, it is a free market with a small amount of businesses. Of course, in the Cisco markets, there are traders like me, there are markets like GamerPay and some people that run bots and other services to make money in this economy. But if you compare it to other modern investment sectors like cars, fashion, watches and so on, the amount of just normal people in the market is bigger than in most sectors, making CSGO skins a bit more stable than goods that got heavily invested in. Potential free, it is not controlled by nearly anything but the market. And I think this is one of the biggest reasons why CSGO skins are so stable when most other things spike up and down heavily. When the US bank announces the biggest inflation ever, many people will just run and sell their stocks, run to the banks to get money or panic with their doge coins on some crypto exchanges for example. But I think only a very small amount will run to the next CSGO trader and dump their whole inventory on them. So to sum it up, I think CSGO skins are a very new way to invest money. But like with everything, it has some very serious risks which you should definitely be aware of, especially when you put money into this. And also putting all your leftover money into a game is possibly something you should be very careful about. But in the end, I think it depends on everyone's thoughts about these things. We live in a modern digital world and if you think that CSGO skins will be here for many years to come, then investing into them is definitely a possibility. But please guys, be aware that I don't give any financial advice and you should make your own thoughts and opinions before spending money onto something which can lose you a lot in the end. Yeah, I think this sums up the video really good. Don't forget to join the giveaway, my boys. I am Neon, and I'll see you guys in the next one.